Hi, um, I just had a question. Um, it seems in general that the voice actors are all really funny and just have this really rapid wit. And when you had to get through scenes that are a lot more dark and heavy and you have all those really funny big personalities in the room, was it really difficult at times? And kind of how did you dig deep to get those darker emotions when you're more kind of lighthearted and funny people? There's a lot of respect in the room. So in a moment where an actor has to actually dig deep and do something, people are pretty respectful and quiet. The moment after, of course, then the page gets crumpled up and thrown at your head if you're not careful. <laughs> But um, it, it is that kind of balance between, yeah, let's take this seriously because we really do want to do a good job, but we also want to have some fun. Yeah. Well, I got to say that, you know, exactly what Richard said is, is that you have a lot of respect for the craft and a lot of respect for the work and, and a lot of respect for the people that you're working with because, hey, they wouldn't be here if they didn't have the chops. And aside from all the fun and games, you know, you know, Plaxip, when push comes to shove, when it comes time to deliver, these guys deliver. And that's what makes it amazing. I mean, I remember a couple of shows that we worked on, like Scotty and myself worked on this thing called Sergeant Slaughter. And we we're 14 hours, 14 hours for a half an hour show, oh, which was, which we should have shot and, or recorded in two hours. But it was one of those things where every, there were a few novices in the show and there were a few people who got destroyed in the show, namely Scott McNeil being one of them, who just ratched his voice. Mm. I mean, his throat was bleeding, I think, at the end. But he delivered and he had to come back and do it again because he lost his voice. And, um, and it's that. It's when you, when you draw up all those reserves because whether you like it or not, I mean... It's hard work. It's, uh, and it takes a, a lot of skill and, and, and focus and stamina to do it because I, I seem to recall I did a, I was, I was talking to you about the NFL sports mm. video game or sports interactive. Six hours a day for five days in a row, 7,000 cues. That's a lot of cues, a lot of talking. And, uh, I remember going through the first thousand, thousand, twelve hundred cues one day. Banging him off, and three times, you know, three times this way, three times that way, you know, just banging him off. And this was Electronic Arts, was a big video game, and the, and the director's going, my God, you got cast iron vocal cords. I mean, what's, what's the deal here, man? You're a machine. And I said, well, you asked me to do it, and I've been doing this, so this is what we do. And when you get your technique and all your breathing and the way you speak down pat, and he goes, you know, I've had real sportscasters in here doing these video games. They're good for 20 minutes, and then they're done. <laughs> 20 minutes, that's not a lot. You know, and you sit here for six hours. And that's what all these guys do. They're doing it with Richard and Scott and, and Dave and Mike Donovan and all of them. They put in hours and hours of work, and uh, so you've got to respect that. And one of the great things, because they're all such consummate professionals, that when the when the director says cut, everything cuts <laughs> loose. Everything's crazy. But as soon as they say line, that that word line, everybody goes boom, and it's back focused on the work. And that's why Vancouver has the reputation of being one of the great animation centers of the world, is because of that professionalism. Mind you, there was one time, <laughs> there was one time I was doing a show called uh, Captain Zed in the Dream Patrol. And uh, they were making a, a sample organ of belches. Sort of like, <laughs> and they asked me to do a big, long belch. So I said, yeah, okay, because uh, I can do a belch. But that was too short. They did something a little longer. So I took a can of Coca-Cola. <laughs> knocked it back. And, and the guy goes, are you ready? I'm ready. And he goes, okay, go. And I went, and this huge ball <laughs> of foam came <laughs> flying out of my mouth. I mean, it was a big ball of foam, and it went... 
whoa, like this. And it hit my script. And I was so shocked, I went, <gasps> and it all went back. <laughs> and it didn't leave a speck on my script because it was sort of wrapped in this amniotic sack of some kind of weird phlegm, I don't know. But, well, professionalism went out the window <laughs> right then and there. And uh, Philip Hayes, who was another great voiceover guy, Phil and Scott, and I think Ian was there, were on the floor. <laughs> Our director was killing himself. <laughs> Our script supervisor was curled up in a fetal ball on the floor, <laughs> dying. She just could not stop laughing. And it took about a half an hour to get back on schedule because She'd sit there and it would go like this. It would, but Phil is the worst for oh, cracking Oh, of course, up. yeah. Phil will crack up. I used to stand beside Phil in the studio and it'd go like this. And I'd be getting ready to do our lines and I'd do my, go, do, go to do my line and then, then I'd finish and then he would start to do his line and I'd just go. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't move a muscle, just. And he'd catch me out of the corner of his eyes and he'd go, Hey, what are you looking at? <laughs> Nothing. And then he'd go to do his line, and I'd do it again. <laughs> and he'd start laughing. And our director, who was named Paul at the time, he goes, Phil, come on. <laughs> do your line. But he's, he's, he's looking at me. <laughs> and I'm going, what are you, 30 years old, not 10? And he goes, you're looking at me. You're looking at me. I'm not. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> And he got shit, and of course, the director couldn't see me because I was behind the pillar. <laughs> so sometimes professionalism goes out the window, but uh, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> I've, heard, I've heard that story from everybody else who was in that room, but I've never heard it told so well. 